If you are an artist and you want to get into NFTs and you wonder how you can put your digital art as an NFT and sell it online, this guide is for you. So I want to explain every term possible and then show you the main platforms, what you can do and where. So first of all, NFTs. Basically, you need to have some kind of a digital art. That can be a video, that can be sound, that can be uh, a JPEG, a PNG, uh, so just an image. We go here with just an image because that's the easiest to explain, but actually it doesn't matter whether it's a video or an image or a sound or a digital photography, it can be anything. So first of all, you need to decide whether you'll be selling one original copy or there'll be there'll be like multiple prints both approaches are fine it's up to you to decide uh, basically what you need to just do is decide yourself how many copies will there be in general because this is what's important from the perspective of a collector they want to need they need to know and they want to know how many copies you will create in the end so if it's a unique piece or if there will be like many prints you need to decide that in the very beginning. Both are fine, again, up to you. Now, if you decided that and you have your digital art, let's say it's a, a PNG image, uh, you will need to mint that onto a blockchain. Minting basically means that you will create a smart contract, however scary that sounds, uh, that will validate, give you a kind of a certificate that this is indeed the original created by you and this is the only copy. Now. You could create another, of course, a smart contract and say that this is another original, but this will devalue your work. And this will be basically like making a copy of your work and saying it's basically the same thing. It will be different. Uh, the dates will be different. The one predating will be uh, more valuable in the end. You don't want to do that in general. If you say this is the only copy, stick with that because otherwise the collectors will go away. So minting. Uh, and creating smart contracts. Right now it's pretty simple to do that. You don't need to understand any blockchains. You don't need to actually do any coding. Uh, it's really simple because most of the main platforms actually allow you to do it with just a simple clicks. The only thing you will need, however, is still having a crypto wallet. A crypto wallet is basically a plugin to your browser that allows you to mint uh, your NFT work. And this is what will you, uh, this is what will you need in the end. So basically, I'll be talking mostly about Ethereum and then Tezos. And for Ethereum, I recommend Metamask, metamask.io. The link will be down below. This is the simplest wallet. Uh, creating that uh, is pretty si simple. You just need to remember the password. The way it works is that uh, you will need to create your wallet, which will be this huge number, and that will be a plugin to your Chrome browser. And then if you send the funds, from your exchange, like you can use OKX, you can use uh, Binance here, Bybit, and just send the funds into the wallet, uh, then you'll be able to interact with any website. That can be just a little funds in order to mint your NFTs. So having done that, very simple things. Uh, also, the same thing works for Tezos with, uh, there are many wallets. The Temple wallet is the one I recommend, it's the easiest thing. Uh, but it generally works the same. So having the wallet, you'll be able to log in and register with your wallet onto some of the websites. So the main marketplace actually uh, is OpenSea, but I wouldn't recommend creating an NFT on OpenSea and I'll tell you why in a moment, even though it's super simple. So after you log in with your wallet, uh, you'll be able to go to the create page, directly clicking your link. and. That would be the simplest way of creating NFT ever. You just have to import the image, video, audio, 3D model, whatever you want. You, want. you can see all the files supported. You have the name, you can give more, moreover external links, description, select the collection you're creating, add properties, basically everything you need, right? So why wouldn't I recommend it? Because the smart contract that governs this kind of NFT is shared throughout all artists and People don't like it, collectors don't like it because basically uh, you don't know how many will there be in general and it's really hard to track those kind of uh, NFTs coming from the stored, uh, uh, from the shared store, uh, store of OpenSea. However, you still can do something uh, very cool here because uh, of course selling art on OpenSea is great and look, get, getting a link is. Uh, OpenSea is the general aggregator. So if you create an NFT on Ethereum, it still will appear on OpenSea. However, you can use a different way uh, to do it. So what I would recommend is actually going to manifold.xyz uh, 
This is the website and this is the kind of a help for artists to create their own smart contracts with just a few clicks. So you will be able to create your whole collection. So for example, what I'm talking about collection is because generally collectors also like uh, some kind of a collection. So if, say you have 10 different pieces, but they are interconnected. You have a story that governs all of that. You want to have that. Uh, Manifold is the best for that. Even if you're just doing sing like single NFTs or just you want to do uh, single artwork with 10 copies, still uh, Manifold is the best for that. It's basically created for creators, by creators, uh, and it gives you all the tools to create a smart contract uh, with zero coding and they really give you every tool possible. So they, it basically looks the same as OpenSea if you were to create it. You have more options, a little bit more, uh, more advanced, but still very simple. You log in with your wallet and that's it. And now if you create uh, an NFT with Manifold, actually it still will appear uh, on OpenSea. You still will be, find, uh, be able to find the collection, but you will have more tools available also at your disposal. So you will have your uh, gallery page on Manifold. Uh, you'll be able to also import that collection to other NFT marketplaces. Uh, so definitely I recommend going to Manifold and using that for, the, uh, for creating your art. Uh, also it's used by really well-known artists within the NFT space, within the digital art space. Uh, and it, it's really great. Uh, as you can see, there are a bunch of other uh, marketplaces here mentioned like Super Rare, Rarible, Foundation, LuxRare, Nifty Gateway, uh, and a bunch of companies. So LuxRare is basically OpenSea. Uh, this is the, the direct competition. I won't mention it. It's great also, uh, but that's a topic for another discussion. I want to cover, however, uh, those other platforms, especially as an artist, uh, because other way to create your, uh, your art is going to foundation.app. Foundation also allows you to create your unique uh, smart contract without any kind of coding knowledge. And it's very similar. So previously foundation was only by invitation only. I think right now you can just log in with your wallet and perhaps start creating or uh, you will need to have some kind of an invite maybe for creating. I'm not sure about that, but foundation is purely for artists. So itself, it's a marketplace, but it's a marketplace where you don't really see uh, you know, those big collections that are done by with the, with the monkey pictures and stuff like that. You only see art here and you only see artists. So this is really a cool place. Again, if you create with Manifold, uh, you'll be able to have your collection on foundation as well. So it's a really cool place. So not only it's a great place to hang out with fellow artists, it's also a great way for a presentation and stuff like that. So definitely foundation is also a good bet if you want to create a collection or a single NFT. Uh, similar to foundation is uh, super rare. Uh, super rare is also for artists. However, if you want to appear on super rare, you really have to apply for the process. So there's more curation uh, within the space for what is going uh, on. So you you will be you'll be needing to apply, and then uh, you might be your artwork might be taken in or not. So it's working a little bit differently. Same thing for Nifty Gateway. Nifty Gateway also works as you have very exclusive drops every day, maybe every two day, twice per day. Uh, it's only from already accepted artists. So if you don't have a huge portfolio, if you haven't been uh, shown in galleries, then probably uh, going with Nifty Gateway or Super Rare is not for you yet. Uh, but it might be in the future. Like I, I would definitely recommend going with Foundation first and Manifold. Uh, if you're just a starting artist or if you don't have a huge following portfolio. Another thing is Rarible uh, and Rarible is somewhere in between OpenSea and Foundation uh, in the sense that they also have general collections, but they don't take all the collections. They only mention like the, the, the biggest ones like Bored API Club, a bunch of others. So everything is uh, pre-voted here to some extent. Uh, very simple to create the collection again. However, similar problem as with OpenSea, you still get uh, under the general umbrella of variable collection. So uh, it might be harder to attract the collectors in the end. Again, Manifold is the best solution for artists right now that I am aware of. 
Okay, so this is for the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, right now it's cool because Ethereum actually has much lower gas fees because of all the, all the match or all the recent updates for, to Ethereum. Uh, so it's really not that costly to mint an NFT because before it was really a cost of some, something like $50 to mint a single NFT. And if you have a huge collection that really goes into hundreds or thousands of dollars to mint the whole collection. And it wouldn't really make sense unless of course you were selling to the to, to the large audience uh, right now those costs are really much lower you can mean an nft for just a couple of dollars or even less uh, if you're lucky on the gas that depends on the time of the day you're minting uh, so it's much better however if you even want to push those costs down it's still possible uh, for with tezos blockchain so tezos is another uh, another blockchain uh, and it's really liked by artists because of its super low costs of minting and also collecting most of the people that go on tests actually sell uh, multiple artworks of the same so they have like multiple prints and they treat Tezos as this uh, version of printing digital prints uh, i don't know why this is somehow how it works uh, i really like Tezos myself so Taya.art is just a platform, a front for all the Tezos NFTs. Uh, it's also super simple to create NFTs directly on Taya. There's a bunch of other marketplaces you could use. Uh, Taya is the easiest. Once you sync your wallet, uh, you'll be able to connect to your wallet and uh, basically be able to create di directly on Taya. So it's re really simple. Finally, summarizing, I really, if you want to just start and understand what's going on, I would really recommend uh, going to Manifold and minting your very first artwork through Manifold or the same minting your first artwork through Foundation uh, or doing both uh, if you can. Uh, however, in the end, it's best to stick with one and, you know, have the collectors being attracted. Also, definitely use Twitter as a way of communicating. This is the best discovery tool. Another one being Instagram, of course, so Instagram plus Twitter. So the people can communicate with you and you can talk about your art uh, in a way that is, you know, available to everyone and anyone can interact with that. Good luck. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to also record another video about how to approach NFTs as an artist, uh, talking from the collector's perspective. I know what I like. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to what people are creating. So let me know. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto updates and see you in the next video.